Let's continue with installing and configuring our ArcGIS Enterprise. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for another tutorial. Before you continue to watch, please take a moment to hit subscribe below if you haven't already. So today, we will continue with our ArcGIS Enterprise base deployment. Today, we will install ArcGIS Server, license it, configure a site and federate it with our portal. As I mentioned in the last tutorial, I previously had footage of everything related to the enterprise setup, from unpacking the installation to completing configuration. But unfortunately, my hard drive crashed and I had no backup of these. So I'll show you demonstrations where I can and show screenshots for everything else. So let's get started. Before attempting to install server, you have to be sure your machine meets the minimum specifications. These specifications can be found on the Esri website. Similar to the portal for ArcGIS installation, the ArcGIS server installation consists of two phases. One, installing the software and licensing, and then configuring the server by creating a site. You can check out the last tutorial for more details. We'll start with unpacking your installation package. You can download this from myesri.com. You should be issued with a user account that will allow Esri access to this site. From there, you will proceed to your organization tab and to downloads and then selecting the necessary files to download. After downloading the files, you will double click to extract and run the wizard. If for some reason the install file won't begin the setup after it's finished unpacking, you can go to the location where it's unpacked, in my case it's the C drive, and then documents folder. From here you can run the setup. Proceed through the setup wizard and if necessary, change the default locations or outputs. Otherwise, you can accept the defaults where possible. You must specify your server user account. The same user account can be used for each setup in your enterprise, or you can create a new one here. This could take some time to install, so you just have to be a little bit patient. After installing, you will need to license your product. And just to note, base deployments require at least a GIS server standard license. You may receive a license file which you can double click to authorize the license. After licensing, you will be redirected to the new server manager page, where you will then create a new server site with a primary site administrator account. In my case, I chose to name my primary site administrator, site admin, and I provided a password. Following the creation of your site, you will be ready to install its web adapter. So you will click on the web adapter setup and you can proceed through the setup wizard, accepting the default site either on port 80 or port 443. Make sure to properly note your web adapter name as you will need to recall this later.
You will then configure your web adapter with server by verifying the server is selected. You'll proceed to add the ArcGIS server URL parameter along with the primary site admin credentials. Make sure the option to enable admin access to your site through web adapter is selected. It's a good idea, but not essential, to import a web server certificate into your server. In the last tutorial, we generated a certificate to be used in the portal admin. So now we will use this same certificate in server. So the same effect applies to HTTPS communication between clients and your base deployment, you know, by using a common certificate. Like I said, it's not essential, but it really de just depends on your business needs. You can check out my last tutorial to learn more about how to generate that certificate for your server or portal admin. So now we will go to the server's administrator window by first typing out the URL for your server manager site and replacing the manager in the URL with admin. Then you will select machines and choose your server machine. Click SSL certificates and select import existing server certificates. Recall your password and provide an alias. Now browse for your file. You will also update your server's configuration so that it will use this certificate. Click the machine link to go back, click edit, and replace the existing certificate name with the alias you just created. Click save edits. This could take a few minutes, so again, you can just have a little bit of patience. Now that you've configured your server, we will now federate that server with Portal. Federation will allow you to configure a base deployment with a unified security model, simplifying operations for your users. Now to federate your server, you will sign into your Portal organization and on the organization, go to Edit Settings and select the Servers tab. On the federated server, click add server and provide your server details, including your services URL. And it tells you how to write this out. You need to provide the admin URL along with the primary site admin details. Click Add Now to federate your server with Portal. However, you will still need to add this as a hosting server so you can begin to publish data. In the next tutorial, we will install and configure Data Store as well as add an enterprise database in your ArcGIS Server Manager. As usual, thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this tutorial with a friend or a colleague who you believe would benefit from this information. Also, leave a comment down below to let me know how you like the tutorials or if you have any other tutorials that you would like to see. Thanks again and see you next time.